Hi folks and welcome to Shake Happens. I think today is going to be an Ohio country life vlog. Just a few things I want to talk about. Um, it's Saturday, December 14th. Um, I have a few things on the plate today. Right now I'm just checking some of the trail cameras, checking the cars to see what's shaking around uh, the property and by the deer blinds. So we just got back from the grocery store a little bit ago, and you know how I feel about that. I can't stand going to the grocery store. But we did make a stop at Menards. Uh, we picked up I picked up some real cheap hooks and four 25 pound magnets. Um, the only thing the wife asked me to do this weekend is in our one of our spare rooms. I don't even know what what we call the room, but it's basically kind of a, a dumping ground. Not a dumping ground, but extra clothes, the gun safes in there. It's just kind of a, a catch-all room. But we're running out of wall space. We do live in a very small farmhouse, so uh, space is is we just don't have a lot of it but what she wanted me to do was make a couple coat racks if you will um, with a magnetic back that we can put on the side of the gun safe at least to hang some winter clothes up on once I get that out of the way I'm going to take care of the animals and then I might head out to the deer blind so I'm not going to complain uh, for the whole weekend this is the only thing on the honeydew list and it shouldn't take that long to get done. I'll get started on that right now. Well, what I was originally going to do is recess a two inch diameter hole. Uh, these magnets here just a fuzz over two inches in diameter but I don't have a two inch Forstner bit. I was just going to recess these, drop them in with some glue and to give them more of a flat profile but for what we're using these for these do come with a screw hole in the center so I'm just going to screw them on and then put the hooks on the other side. Well, these aren't the prettiest thing to look at, but they'll work, they'll serve their purpose, and I think I got 15 bucks in it. And when we don't need them, we can just pop them off the metal and use them the next time. So, well, here she comes now. There you go. Oh, awesome. Looks great, honey. Thanks. All right, so what's next on the list? So the other day I was tagged by Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead. And I've uh, watched them folks for quite some time now. I believe her name's Joyce. Um, spends a lot of time in the kitchen cooking up some fabulous meals. And uh, she tagged me the other day on, I think it was past Christmas memories. Um, something that you're fond of maybe or something a story that you pass on or share year after year after year or a tradition that's passed on but a, a past memory uh, from Christmas and for me there's there's quite a few um, I remember the first time I came home on leave from the military and surprised my family 
Um, that was pretty cool. And I also remember my brother and I, when we were real little, we got a Stretch Armstrong for Christmas. And we, we wanted one all year long, and it finally came. Santa finally brought it. And within three minutes of opening that gift, uh, with my brother and I pulling on it, we broke it. So that was always a funny story shared over the years. But the one that stands out the most is when we go to my grandparents for the Christmas and the whole family was there. And on my dad's side, we had a huge family with all the aunts and uncles and cousins. And kind of the running gag year after year after year, as far as I can remember, I mean, even when I was just a real, real little kid, is a couple of my uncles, including my dad, would pick something at the farmhouse, something of my grandparents, an ashtray or a, a candy bowl or a bottle of perfume. And when no one was looking, they'd wrap that up and address it to my grandma and grandpa and give it to them for Christmas. And it, it usually took them a few seconds to realize what was going on when they opened it. But uh, that was kind of a, a funny thing we did year after year after year. And this was many, many years ago. I probably started in the early 70s all the way up till about 1980, 82. That old Schickster's got a plethora of hats, doesn't he? And speaking of Schickster, I think later this week, he was working on a YouTube trailer for his channel, for his videos, I guess. So be on the lookout maybe later this week for the Schickster putting up his YouTube trailer. And speaking of trailers, um, just the other day, uh, Joe at Capper Outdoors put up a, a YouTube video with some some intros to it and some screenshots and video footage uh, about me and how we came to be or how the Capper and the Schickster series came to be. Followed up by the trailer, my trailer, um, here at Schick Happens, which he was instrumental in putting together for me. So I'd like to personally thank Joe for putting that up in his channel as well. Of course, I'm sure most of you are already over at Joe's site, and if not, go check them out. I can't bro outdoors. Well, I've probably made this video last long enough. Just a quick little update. I think I'm going to head back to the deer stand here in a little bit. Um, still nothing uh, to get too excited about on the trail cameras, but you never know. Um, and it's been about six days since I've been out hunting and I think it's time I probably get back to the blind. So I think that's what I'm going to do this evening. Oh, and one other thing. Um, it's been quite a while since I've given a shout out to another channel and I'd like to take the opportunity to do that now. And that channel name is Fermented Homestead. Um, I'm not even sure how I stumbled on her channel, but, uh, and I don't think she's been on YouTube that long, maybe four or five months. But most of her content is in the kitchen fermenting food or canning food uh, or preserving food. And she's extremely detailed in the process. Uh, obviously is using a nice camera and I think the editing is great. So if you get a minute, uh, check out Fermented Homestead. And thanks for joining me here today at Schick Happens. Um, I appreciate all your guys' support, input, comments, the whole nine yards. Um, you're the reason that I'm doing this YouTube channel. And occasionally there'll be these vlogs such as this and some serious videos like the what is a trophy buck. Um, but I'm my heart is in humor and comedy. And that's what I'm going to do with this channel is just try to make people laugh. And I think down the road here, you guys are really going to enjoy the Hey Capper, It's Schickster Here videos. i got to throw one of them in every once in a while. But again, thanks for joining me on Schick Happens. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, like it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.